The electric vehicle revolution has taken the world by storm, with promises of low maintenance costs, easy repairs, and even battery swaps. However, the reality of the ground has been quite the opposite. As electric cars have proven to be not just less reliable, but also exorbitantly expensive to repair. In fact, the situation has become so dire that many damaged EVs are heading straight to the junkyards, leaving owners grappling with the harsh truth behind the hype. Let's delve into the five major reasons why this is happening and explore the challenges that lie ahead for the EV industry. Number one, EVs struggle with reliability issues. One of the most significant challenges facing electric vehicles is their lack of reliability. In theory, EVs should be more reliable than their internal combustion counterparts due to their simpler design and fewer moving parts. However, in practice, this cutting-edge technology is still in its infancy and requires years, if not decades, of refinement to iron out the kinks. According to a massive survey conducted by Consumer Reports, encompassing over 330,000 cars produced between 2000 and 2024, electric vehicles have demonstrated a staggering 80% more reliability problems compared to gasoline-powered cars. The survey highlighted a wide range of issues plaguing EVs, from electric dry motors to charging components, further emphasizing the complexity of these vehicles and the challenges associated with seamlessly integrating their various systems. While legacy automakers have been particularly vulnerable to reliability woes, even industry giants like Tesla, which ranks near average in reliability compared to all car makers, have not been immune to these challenges. The seamless integration of critical components like the battery, electric drive unit, and various other systems has proven to be a daunting task for many EV manufacturers, often resulting in costly repairs and frustrating downtime for owners. Moreover, owners have also been grappling with infrastructural problems, including not only a lack of public charging stations, but also frequent malfunctions of existing ones. These factors have undoubtedly contributed to the overall perception that EVs are not worth the effort, an expense of repairs, potentially slowing down the growth of the electric vehicle market and hampering the transition to a more sustainable transportation future. Number two, lack of trained professionals drives up repair costs. One of the biggest promises made by EV makers has been the prospect of low running costs. According to them, electric cars are simpler than internal combustion vehicles and therefore easier and cheaper to repair. However, the reality on the ground has been quite different, with a severe shortage of trained professionals licensed to work on these vehicles, driving up repair costs to astronomical levels. In the UK, for example, only 10% of all mechanics are certified to work on battery electric cars, as the number of EVs on the market continues to rise. This problem is only exacerbating, creating a supply-demand imbalance that has inevitably driven up repair costs. Following Following the basic principles of economics. According to some sources, the UK alone is projected to face a shortage of 35,000 trained professionals once internal combustion cars are banned in 2035. This dire situation is not unique to the UK. Many markets around the world are struggling to keep up with the demand for skilled EV technicians, resulting in a severe lack of qualified labor to service and repair these vehicles. Finding a skilled mechanic is just the beginning of the challenge for EV owners. Even when they locate a licensed professional, they are often faced with exorbitant repair bills. Experts attribute these high costs to various factors, including the complexity of the technology, the intricate electrical systems like batteries, inverters, and motors, and the safety concerns associated with working on high-voltage systems that pose a risk of electric shock. Moreover, the lack of standardization in EV components and systems across different manufacturers further complicates the training and certification process for mechanics, making it challenging to develop a workforce capable of serving a wide range of electric vehicle models efficiently. Number 3. Collisions often lead to write-offs While electric cars may feature fewer moving parts than their internal combustion counterparts, this is not necessarily an advantage when it comes to collisions. In fact, even minor accidents can cause significant damage to critical components, often necessitating complete replacements due to safety concerns and the unique design considerations of EVs. The root of this issue lies in the unique structural designs of electric vehicles, particularly the battery housing. Even a tiny defect in this area may require a full replacement of the housing or even the entire battery pack, which can be an incredibly costly endeavor. Furthermore, relatively small collisions can lead to critical damage to major electronic components leaving no option but to replace them entirely, adding to the already substantial repair cost. The lack of spare parts in the EV universe further compounds this problem, 
Many manufacturers struggle to keep up with the demand for replacement components, resulting in lengthy repair times that can span weeks or even months. As a result, insurance companies are increasingly opting for write-offs, deeming the vehicles a total loss even after relatively minor crashes, as the cost of repairs often exceeds the value of the vehicle itself. The issue highlights the need for EV manufacturers to prioritize the design and engineering of their vehicles with collision safety and repairability in mind. Developing modular and easier replaceable components, as well as streamlining the supply chain for spare parts, could go a long way in reducing the frequency of write-offs and ensuring that damaged EVs can be repaired in a timely and cost-effective manner. Number 4. Damaged Teslas instantly become commodity cars The high repair costs, lack of spare parts, and general lack of support from Tesla have led to a concerning trend. Most damaged Teslas end up as commodity cars, destined for the scrapyard or the auction block. Videos have surfaced showing massive junkyards filled with damaged Teslas, many with only light damage that would typically be easily repairable in internal combustion vehicles. However, in the case of Teslas, owners often choose to sell them for their scrap value on the battery as finding willing buyers to repair these damaged EVs has proven to be a challenge. No one seems to want to invest in fixing these vehicles, perhaps due to the aforementioned issues surrounding high repair costs and lack of parts availability, as well as the perceived risk of taking on such a complex repair project. What's even more concerning is the limited potential for commodity use of these damaged Teslas. While certain components such as the battery pack may hold some value for recycling or repurposing, the overall resale market for heavily damaged EVs appears to be relatively small. As a result, there is a growing fear that in 5 or 10 years, we may treat used EVs in a similar manner to used consumer electronics devices, discarding them after minimal damage instead of pursuing repairs. Number 5. EVs are hard to fix, and it's not just about mechanics. Once the warranty period expires, the cost of these software update services is likely to skyrocket potentially serving as a new revenue stream for dealers to compensate for the lack of income from oil changes and other regular maintenance associated with internal combustion vehicles. Moreover, the intricate integration of complex systems within electric vehicles poses a significant challenge for repair professionals. For example, the battery management system must interact seamlessly with the powertrain to maintain energy flow and ensure safe battery operation while also communicating with the onboard computer, which controls various functions based on inputs from sensors and other systems. Even a minor flaw in this tightly integrated system can cause major problems, raising concerns about the ability of trained professionals at local dealerships to accurately diagnose and resolve issues effectively. As the technology continues to evolve and undergo software and firmware updates, ensuring compatibility and seamless communication between different systems will be an ongoing challenge for EV makers. This complexity not only increases the risk of potential issues, but also makes it more difficult for mechanics to troubleshoot and repair problems, even with proper training. Bridging the gap, potential solutions to truly unlock the potential of electric vehicles and address the reliability and repair challenges they currently face. A concerted effort from various stakeholders is required. Manufacturers must prioritize robust testing, continuous improvements, and a focus on repairability in their design and engineering processes. Additionally, investing in comp comprehensive training programs, certification initiatives, and fostering collaboration with independent repair shops and mechanics will be crucial to building a skilled workforce capable of serving and repairing EVs efficiently. Governments and industry associations also have a role to play in establishing standardized protocols, communication interfaces, and regulations to promote interoperability, improve safety, and facilitate the development of a robust repair infrastructure. Furthermore, encouraging the growth of a thriving secondary market for used and refurbished EV parts as well as incentivizing the establishment of specialized repair facilities could help reduce the number of damaged vehicles ending up in junkyards prematurely. By addressing these challenges head-on and fostering collaboration among all stakeholders, the electric vehicle revolution can truly become a sustainable and reliable reality, paving the way for a cleaner, more efficient transportation future. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.